Hello all you magical folk, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today we have a very exciting video for you. We have a magical unboxing. We have the Cauldron Crate box. This is the chest of the Half-Blood Prince. I have the premium box as well because there was two different types of boxes this time around. You can get the premium box or the standard box. And of course I had to go for the premium because apparently there's a few extra goodies inside here that you don't get in a standard box. And I knew that I'd be devastated if I didn't get it and the items were absolutely awesome, which they normally are with this box too. Be fair this is a really really good box they did take a little bit of a break but they are back and i am dead excited to get into this box so i'm just going to go on head with it and if you are new to my channel then why not subscribe to become part of my little magical community and also don't forget to click the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos okay chest of the half blood prince oh so excited this is a really heavy box as well, so I'm really, really excited. Good things are in heavy boxes. So I'm just gonna give you guys a sneak peek as always. What do we see? Not a lot. Woo! I always drop things with this paper stuff on top of these boxes. Okay, I think that's the cheat sheet that's just dropped on the floor. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not gonna look at that because we do not want spoilers in these videos. The fun is in the surprise. So as you can see, we have blue tissue paper as I am a Ravenclaw. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Let's see. Oh, we have goodies. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I am seeing a t-shirt in here. This looks like a good one. Oh, wow, look at this. There's so much on here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So it says on here, after all, to well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Alvis Percival, Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore, 1881 to 1997. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so cool. I thought for a second it was the mirror of error set because of the two kind of pillars either side, but it's not. It's just got two sort of pillars and then it's got all these floating candles. It's got Dumbledore's little hat down here with his little tassel. And yeah, I love that quote. Oh, it's got the elder ones at the bottom as well, which I didn't notice, and his half moon glasses. Oh, this is such a cool t-shirt. Oh, I have my doors open today because it's boiling. And you can hear all the birdies chirping outside. And it's on a really dark navy blue top as well, which I love. Yeah, this is a really lovely t-shirt. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so one thing I love about Cauldron Crate is that you don't just get everything kind of slammed in the box and it's just that's that. Everything comes wrapped in these little parcels and it just makes it all the more magical and all the more exciting because you still don't know what you're going to get, even when you're looking directly into the box. But I am seeing a little tag down here. Oh, it's on a really big thing. Oh, I might leave the tag for a minute then because it's on something really, really big and I don't want to pull that out just yet. But I am going to go for one of these small little parcels. It's in this little green paper bag with a Cauldron Crate sticker on here. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cool. We have a little replica of the uh, crystal goblet. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. It's got some absolutely gorgeous detail in here. It's almost sort of iridescent. I'm not sure if that's been picked up on the camera. Obviously, it's quite bright in here. Um, but it has got like almost like an iridescent sheen to it and it kind of looks like it could be a soap dish Which I'm totally gonna use it for that's a genius idea. That is really really cool. I love that Already off to a great start with this box genius. Okay, so under that we had this little black baggy thing So I'm gonna check what this is. Oh, okay. This is uh, Amotentia chocolate raspberry flavored coffee. We actually did get a little hint. I remember um, not long after the boxes kind of went out on sale, we had like a little hint and it said like you can click it to get the hint or you didn't have to have the hint if you didn't want it. But yeah, it was a hint for coffee. Now, I'm not a coffee drinker, sadly, so I will probably have to gift this probably to my mum because she's a very big coffee drinker. But yeah, this looks really cool. It's from Fable Ground Coffee. Uh, like I said, it has uh, the Amotentia potion bottle on the front. It says chocolate and raspberry flavoured coffee. And yeah, that's really kind of cute. The packaging, there we are. You can kind of just see the packaging now. It's so bright in here. But yeah, the packaging's really, really lovely. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Not for me personally, because I'm not a coffee drinker, but that's okay. I'm gonna move out the way some of these wiggly worms. Okay, we have a very ducky little parcel. What are we gonna find in here? Ooh, I think it's a pin badge. Is a pin badge. Oh wow, we have a Peruvian instant darkness powder pin. How cool is that? It's got a little tag here, which basically says Peruvian instant darkness powder. And obviously then you've got the 
crystal itself. That is so cool. I have seen a lot of references to this item more recently, so, and I was kind of gutted because the boxes that you were getting these items in, I don't subscribe to, so I was really kind of gutted. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased now. I have my own little bit of instant darkness power. That is really cool. And I love the fact that it's on a pin as well because this is just beautiful. Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas. What should I go for next? Let's pick up this little parcel here. It's very nicely wrapped with a little bit of string. So let's see what we have in here. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so funny. We have a little wooden log with R and L inside it with a lovely little heart going around and some kisses. This is Ron and Lavender. This is so funny, that's so cute. Although it should be Ron and Kaylee because let's be fair, we'd make a better couple. <laughs> but yeah, this is so, so adorable and it's actually quite a lovely little nod because you don't get to see an awful lot of Lavender Brown stuff. You don't get to see an awful lot of Lavender Brown references. And I think that her character actually deserved to shine more because she was such a funny, cool character and I just loved her, especially the way she was portrayed in the film. She was just absolutely off her head. But yeah, she was portrayed beautifully, I loved it. Okay, the big thing is kind of getting in the way but I still don't want to use it just yet. I don't want to open this because it looks like it might be something really, really cool and I don't want to see it just yet. Okay, what are we looking at here? Ooh, we have another pin. This is actually a double pin set. I'm gonna take it out the wrapper so we can see it better. Oh, now this is cool. So we have a Slytherin locket and we have the note that was inside. That is beautiful. And obviously then we have this little chain connecting the two pins. It has the four pins on the back. Obviously the background is black and then you've got the silver detailing on it here as well, which you've got a little bit of the green actually as well on the Slytherin uh, snake there as well. And then the little note as well from RAB. Oh my God, it's, it's too hard to read. I can't remember, I, I know what the note says-ish, but I'm not that great with my memory that I can remember the entire note off my head. It's not gonna happen. But yeah, we all remember the little note. That is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love that. We've got some really good pins to add to our collection today, guys. This is good. Okay, we have another little parcel wrapped up with a little bit of string. So I'm gonna see what's inside this one. Ooh, that looks like there's something. I shouldn't be peeking. Naughty Kaylee. <laughs> what's in here? Ooh, I think we have a potion bottle. We may have a potion bottle. What have we got? Oh, no, we don't have a potion bottle, but we have puking pastels. <laughs> How cool. There's actually little sweeties in here. I'm not sure if they are actually edible. I'll have to go back to the cheat sheet just to see because it could be some kind of bath product or stuff like that, no, in these kind of boxes. But wow, so this says puking pastels, the Skyvin snack, bo snack box collection. That is absolutely adorable. It's got this beautiful wax seal with a W for Weasley on the top as well. It's tied off with this beautiful orange bow and you can see there's sweeties inside. Oh, the lid does. I think this might be a bath product. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not mad if it is. That's great, I love a bath product. It does smell kind of bath salty. So yeah, I, I don't think I should eat these. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are absolutely adorable. What a cool little idea. I absolutely love it. And I have just spotted, like I said, I was nosing at the box, which I shouldn't have done. But I've just spotted three more. So there's three in there and there's three here. So you can either store these ones and use these ones, I suppose, which might be a good idea. But yeah, I love that you get the two of them in here. I am going to double check a little bit more information about that in the cheat sheet when we come to the end because I do think that might be a bath product. Okay, so moving Mr. Big Thing out of the way. <laughs> Did I really just say that? <laughs> oh my god. I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> if I was monetized, I wouldn't be anymore. <laughs> right, what else have we got in here? Moving on swiftly. Okay, so we have Idle Stuff, a Cauldron Crate exclusive. I'm not 100% sure who these people are. Can you see that? I might have to get it out of the wrapping paper. One second. Unless there's a Slytherin locket there. Unless this is the Marvolo family. Are you seeing that? That is really, really cute, mine. These are really, really cute little anime characters. And yeah, I've got a feeling this is the Marvolo family. Again, I'm going to have to go to the cheat sheet to get a little bit more clarification, but yeah, they're really cute. They're like bookmarks. So you take them off and they're magnetic. So you put them over your page, you clip it together and then it holds the page for you. I actually do use, I had a set um, in a, I think it was a Lit Joy Crate box. 
yeah, I'm sure it was a literary crate box. Um, and I actually have the lavender brown because I'm reading The Half-Blood Prince as we speak. So I'm actually not that far into the book though at the moment, typically, but um, yeah, I'm using my lavender brown version from uh, my literary crate box and I love it. But yeah, these are really, really cute, very adorable. Love the characters. And yeah, I'm just gonna double check exactly who they are, but I do believe that is the Marbolo family. Okay, we are starting to get towards the bottom of the box. So, ooh, what have we got here? Some stickers. Make love, not whore cruxes. Couldn't agree more. So we have a little organza baggie of stickers. We had some stickers in the last box and they were dead cute. So we've got a make love, not whore cruxes. We've got a little anime Harry. He's kind of cute. Then we've got a, ooh, we've got a very nice Snape. Then we've got a Slytherin Locket. Harry Potter. Then we have a Dumbledore. It's looking very dark and mysterious, that Dumbledore, I like it. So I'll set those ones down. I do like the stickers. I always appreciate the stickers, but I never really know what to do with them. I always wish I had a laptop in these moments because I would put them all over the back of my laptop, but I don't have a laptop and I don't have a guitar. Cause someone said to me a few months back, why don't you stick them on the back of your guitar? I'm like, I don't have a guitar. I'm, I don't have the guitar. I'm so sorry, I don't. So yeah, I never really know what to do with them. Okay, I think this is a candle because it is very candle shaped and I know we normally get candles in these boxes. I am right. Here we go. Ooh, what's this? Lucky pumpkin juice. Pumpkin scented, sorry, pumpkin spice scented. 100% soy wax candle. And it says, with a hint of luck. Cool. Oh, that's so cute. There's a little pumpkin inside. <laughs> that is really adorable. And you got some lovely little glitter as well. Ooh, it smells very nice. I'm my nose isn't the best at the minute because I have got the worst hay fever. I've just taken some tablets, so I'm a little bit better, but my breathe, my breathing, my smell isn't great at the minute. I haven't really got an awful lot of sense of smell, but from what I'm picking up, that's a very nice scent. I just can't quite fully get a nose full of it, if you get me. So I will definitely have to have a better sniff of that at a later stage. But yeah, that's a really beautiful candle. And I do have uh, two of the other candles that I had from these boxes previously, and I haven't burned them yet. We're waiting to move. When we move, we will burn the candles because we want the new house to smell lovely. And not that we don't want this one to smell lovely, but we want the new house to smell lovelier. So we'll keep in the candles for the new house. <laughs> Okay, I think we are down to the last couple of items now. So I'm, ooh, no, I'm lying. There's something here and there's loads of stuff underneath it. My God, this box just keeps on giving. Okay, so we have, I love this, a Ravenclaw banner. How lovely is that? And it says wisdom on here and it's got this stunning eagle. <gasps> wow, that's gorgeous. And it's really thick as well. This is not like a cheaply made one. This is really lovely. <gasps> I love that. We could use that as a pin badge or you could use it just to hang in your room. That's beautiful. Love that so much. It's gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to use this for a pin badge because I've got a pin board. So I don't need a pin banner, if you get me. So I think I'll definitely just display this rather than sticking pins to it and potentially ruining it. But it probably is meant to be a pin badge. Uh, that is beautiful. I love that. Gorgeous. Okay, so underneath that pin badge, we have a whole horde of what I can only guess is paper replicas. So I've got a very nice big envelope here with a cauldron crate sticker. I'm going to go for this first. What are you? Ooh, okay. Right, okay, we have a little letter. It says, the chest is the property of the half, oh, sorry, this chest is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. And it says, bonus items. It says, as an apology for the delay. Oh, we had like a little, little delay. It wasn't a big delay. It was like the smallest of delays as far as delays can go. So there's no need to apologize, Cauldron Crate, but thank you very much. And so it says, as an apology for the delay and to spread a little happiness in these dark times, I have included these extra two items in this chest themed after the Half-Blood Prince himself. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the stuff that's in here, so I will have a look at that those first, just to make sure. Ooh, okay, yeah, there's two little cards in here. So it says, a Snape quoted postcard, which is a Cauldron Crate exclusive. So it says, you dare use my own spells against me, Potter. It was I who invented them. I, the Half-Blood Prince. Or is that not even an I? 
it might be an eye, it might not be. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that is really, really lovely. You've got an advanced potion making book down here. You've got some potions on this side, some potions up here as well in the top corners. Yeah, that's really lovely. I think that's really, really cute. And it's something that's just a little extra something just to apologize for the delay. But like I said, there was no need to apologize because it wasn't that big a delay really. Um, and then we have a Snape art postcard, which again is an exclusive to Cauldron Crate. And it says, Ooh, I didn't read out who the first one was from. So the first one is designed by Azura Arts exclusively for Cauldron Crate. So that one is designed by Azura. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, Azura Arts. And then the next one I'm going to show you in just a second is uh, by Elena Liu. Again, hopefully I'm saying that name right. But yeah, we have a gorgeous Snape. And this is apparently supposed to depict um, his sort of like childhood loneliness. So he's kind of like jotting in his book. Um, obviously all the little notes on the advanced potion making book. So yeah, that's really, really beautiful as well. Ooh, we have a little pink baggie. I didn't see you. Little pink baggie with something poking out of the top. What are we? Ooh, it's tied up. <laughs> what are you? Ooh, don't pull too hard. I don't want to break it. Ah, oh, this is cute. So in the little pink baggie, which is adorable by the way, I'm totally keeping that, we have this little metal bookmark with a very teeny tiny, oop, it won't spin the right way, a Mortentia love potion. How adorable is that? I love that, that is really, really sweet. It's got like these little pinky and purpley beads inside. It has a little tiny label saying I'm a tensha. It's got a little cork stopper. It's in a little love heart shaped bottle as well. That is really sweet, I love that. I am going to have to open this big thing in a minute. Like, I've not properly looked at it yet. I can see there's a label on it. And I can see there's a lot of writing, but I haven't read it. And I'm like, Ooh, I don't want to use it just yet. Okay, we have some more envelopes. Okay, so we have a green envelope that says my name on it. And then we have a purple one, which says Miss Hermione Granger, the Borough Ottery St. Catchpole in Devon. And it says confidential. This is from the Ministry of Magic. What did Hermione do? What did she do? I can't remember. Mind is going blank. I'm going to go with mine first anyway. Ooh! We have a wax seal on the back with an S. It's gold and it has an S on it. No, it knows I'm a raving for. I'm thinking that. It's like a personalised item, but obviously it looks very Slytherin. And I'm thinking, they know I'm a raving for because I've got the raving for banner. So, hmm, I'm thinking. Right. Ooh, the wax seal came off really easily. That was good. I don't like breaking these wax seals. Okay, we have some gold foiling. What are you? <laughs> okay, now I'm understanding the, the S. It's not a Slytherin product. I've been invited to be part of the Slug Club, you guys. Check me out. I am part of an elite team. So basically, this is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Can we just appreciate this gold foiling? Oh, so pretty. So it says, Kaylee Christensen, in light of your promising achievements, I am extending you an invitation to join my select group of students known as the Slug Club. I would be delighted if you would join me for a bite of lunch in my carriage. This is truly an exclusive opportunity and I hope, sorry, I do hope to see you there. Sincerely, Professor Horace E.F. Slughorn. I love that, that is so cool. <laughs> I was really confused for a minute there, thinking why am I getting something that looks a bit Slytherin-y? All makes sense now, see? That is such a clever little product. I would never have thought of that at all. That is beautiful. And obviously the fact that it says my name on it, so I get to like display this really proudly and tell everyone that I'm famous in the wizarding world. See? <laughs> I love that, that is gorgeous. It's gonna very carefully pop that to one side. And now I'm going to go with the last paper replica, I believe. Yes, yes, we just have this left and then that big parcel, which I'm gonna open. But yeah, we're gonna go with Hermione's letter now. What is this? Okay. Oh, it's her ordinary wisdom levels uh, results. This is cool. What did she get? Okay, so obviously we have this gorgeous Ministry of Magic sheet of paper here. It was actually like a thick card, really. And it's got a beautiful wax seal of the Ministry of Magic down here. And yeah, she basically got outstanding in every single subject except for Defense Against the Dark Arts where she got Exceed Expectations. And I think if I remember rightly in the beginning of the book, she's going through her results and she's a little bit annoyed that she's got an E for that. 
and like Ron's like, what's your problem? I've, I've barely passed. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really, really cool piece of paper replica. It says Hermione Jean Granger. It's got a signature down here from the Wizarding Examination Authority. It's beautiful. This is really, really gorgeous. I really, really love that. Again, I love a good paper replica. You don't see an awful lot of them in a lot of different boxes. I think mainly from the boxes that I've had personal experiences with, Cauldron Crate do the better paper replica stuff. Um, and yeah, I've always really, really pleased with them because some of them are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, it is time for the big boy. <laughs> I'm so gonna get told off for this. Right, I'm just gonna get the last of these. There's a few like wiggly worms stuck on here. You can just see on top there is something in here, but I don't know what it is yet. So it says on here, dearest Dumbledore, I do hope that this is still your favorite tipple. Merry Christmas, my old friend, Horace. Ooh. I think I remember what this is. I'm trying to remember exactly before my brain completely escapes me. It's obviously a bottle of alcohol. I just can't remember what kind of alcohol. I'm not a big drinker, so I'm not very up on my alcohol brands. Oh my gosh. This looks like it's gonna be gorgeous. Being very careful. Oh my God. This is gorgeous, you guys, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious me, this is beautiful. Oh, look at that mystical! <gasps> wow, I'm just gonna give it a little shake up so you can see all the mysticalness. <gasps> that is so beautiful. It looks like a champagne bottle, but it says on the front here Madame Rosmerta's finest oak matured mead, and then it's got the three broomsticks little logo down here. This is gorgeous, and it's got a beautiful twine around the neck. It's got this stunning wax seal on the front as well it says the three broomsticks on it oh my gosh oh I don't know if that's not supposed to be there I've got something on here I don't know what that is if it was supposed to be there or not it does appear to have maybe leaked a tiny tiny bit but not by much because the bottle is still full to the brim like you could see there's just the bubbles there so it's still really really full but maybe it has leaked just a small amount. I don't know if that was supposed to be like some kind of seal on it that's kind of come away, which is a little bit of a shame, but these kind of things happen. These boxes travel an awful long way. And you know, we all know postal carriers can sometimes not be the most gentle with these kind of boxes. So, you know, things like this do happen and it does not make me mad at all. But yeah, and it's not damaged in any way. It still looks absolutely amazing. It's just maybe it has, I think it has leaked just a little bit, but yeah we're not mad at all that is gorgeous and this is going to go straight onto my potion shelves even though it's not technically a potion um it's, it's gonna fit in on my potion shelves because it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah i'm really 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 impressed with that you guys what a wild ride this box has been it's been absolutely amazing so i'm gonna go through the cheat sheet just to make sure that we got everything we were supposed to get i'm also gonna fan myself a little bit because i am sweating buckets over here this is ridiculous this heat i just want it to rain just for one day i like layers and i like being snuggly warm inside with blankies i'm not big on the heat <laughs> so we have the chest of the half-blood prince um, and then it says, I hope you have enjoyed unboxing the sixth installment in my book series of chests. Don't forget to tag me in your unboxing videos, sorry, in your unboxing photos. Okay, so it says my products are always vegan and cruelty free, which is a great, great thing about these boxes. They have got all their items are vegan friendly and they are also cruelty free, um, which, you know, we're all supporting at the moment as well. Uh, it says I also aim to use as little plastic in my packaging as possible. When I do use plastic, it's biodegradable. All products are exclusive, handmade, and designed by Leanne at Cauldron Crate, unless otherwise stated. So Leanne, you are a genius, my dear. Absolute genius. So inside we have, oh my God. Is that supposed to be soap? The poisoned mead liquid soap. No way, that's soap. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. But mind blown on even more so mind just absolute that is absolutely amazing i can't believe that that's an actual usable product that is so cool i was just gonna stick it on my shelves which i probably still will to be fair but uh, so it says a fun useful item inspired by the infamous post point 
infamous poisoned oak matured mead that Slughorn intended to give Dumbledore for Christmas. I hope you enjoy this licorice and cherry scented liquid soap. Oh my god, I can't believe that soap. That's amazing. And it says you can even display the bottle after you are done. When left to settle, the oil separates, giving a beer mead like appearance. This is intentional, but please mix throughout before use. And then it's got all the uh, list of ingredients on there as well, so you can check obviously if you have any allergies or anything along those lines. But yeah, that is amazing. That, that has just completely nearly blown my mind. Okay, so we have the Owl Results Replica, again, homemade by Cauldron Crate. The nine outstanding and one exceeds expectations. Oh, here we go. See, remember I was saying about the, the quote that Ron, or like the, the fact that Ron gets annoyed. So the quote is, yep, nine outstandings and one exceeds expectations in defense against the dark art. He looked down at her, half amused, half exasperated. You're actually disappointed, aren't you? <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it. Okay, so then we have the book six sticker set, the personalized Slughorn invitation. Great item. I absolutely love that. The puking pastels replica. So this one says... Oh no, they are edible. Okay, well again, see my nose, I can't smell anything. So I, I couldn't tell if it smelled bathy producty or not. So obviously I'm completely off. But it says, I hope you enjoyed the handmade replica sweet jar containing edible puking pastels, extra sweets have been provided in case you would like to keep it intact to display, which I definitely, definitely will. They are orange and passion fruit flavored. Yummy. I quite like orange and passion fruit. I'm not going to lie. So then we have the house pin manor, which yeah, I was right. It is supposed to be a pin manor, but yeah, I'm not going to use it for that. I'm just going to hang it up as it is because it's beautiful and I don't really need to have a pin banner when I have a like display case for all my pins. So I'm just going to keep that intact, I think. Uh, then we have the love potion coffee, which was by Fable Grounds Coffee. We have the Peruvian pin, beautiful pin, absolutely gorgeous. The mini potion bookmark. Oh, that's the Amotensha one. And then we have the Lucky Pumpkin Juice Candle and the Ron and Lavender Coaster Ornament. Ooh, it doesn't mention the, the little ones. Where have I put them? It doesn't mention these ones. It's on the back. Ignore me. We have more items. Then we have the Crystal Goblet Jewelry Dish. Ah, oh, it's a jewelry dish. Genius. See, I'm not going to use it for soap. What an idiot. <laughs> So this says, I have always admired, oh, this is by, um, sorry, this is by Shayna Creates. I hope again, I'm saying that right. I'm so useless sometimes. Um, so it says, I've always admired Shayna's sculpted creations and have desperately wanted to collaborate with her for a while. I pinched the idea of the crystal goblet as soon as Shayna showed me a prototype, which I was obsessed with. I'm also incredibly excited to finally share her gorgeous replica with you all. Best of it all. It doubles as a jewellery dish to hold your Slytherin heirlooms and other muggle things. So yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, then we have the Headmaster Tribute t-shirt. Absolutely gorgeous t-shirt. And the Salazar Locket and Regulus Letter Horcrux Enamel Pins. Wow. So we actually got 15 items in this box. Like I said, this is the premium box. So there are two items in here, I think, if I remember rightly now, because I don't completely trust my brain at the minute. But yeah, I think it's uh, two additional items that we got in the premium chest that you wouldn't have got if you purchased just the standard chest. But yeah, wow. I, I, wow. <laughs> How on earth am I going to pick a favourite? I, I don't even know where to begin with picking a favourite. Oh, this is really hard. I don't want to pick a favourite. I have to though, surely. I think I'm going to have to go for the Madame Rose Murta's mead bottle because this is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, there's a plane going over now. <laughs> it's very loud. Yeah, this item is just absolutely stunning. And I, like I said, I was just gonna display this as a prop replica. And the fact that I now know that it's also a liquid soap as well is just even better in my opinion. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Has to be my favorite, I think. Um, can I pick any more favorites though? Because I have so many to choose from. I also really, really love the idea of the puking pastel sweets. I think the jar is really adorable. I'm going to display that definitely and eat the other ones. Um, I love the candle again. The pins. We've got two gorgeous pins in this box. I'm so happy. My pin board is going to look gorgeous. Can I choose a least favourite? I just realised as well, I didn't read out. I, I made a point of saying that we didn't have anything about these. And then I didn't even read that when I read it. How dippy am I today? So yeah, this is... Uh, it's Tom Riddle Sr. 
Marope and Mavolo Gaunt depicted in some bookmarks. So yeah, they're really, really cute. I did think that I was on the right path with that, so it's nice to have that confirmed. And it's nice for me to tell you guys too, because I'm sure you were waiting on tender hooks for that, and I just didn't even give you what you needed. Absolutely useless. Don't know what I'm doing anymore. But yeah, I really do like these, but I think I'm gonna have to pick these and the stickers as my least favorite items. Only purely based on the fact of, I never know what to do with them. And maybe just not my favorite designs. I'm not, um, if you've seen like my videos beforehand, you'll know I'm not really massively into the whole dark art side of the Hogwarts, of the Harry Potter universe. I do like the more sort of happier, lighter sides of the magical world. So these just wouldn't personally be my own tastes. Um, but I know a lot of people that will absolutely love, love, love these. So yeah, I think these are really, really adorable. Just not my personal favorite and not my personal taste, but that's okay. This box was amazing, you guys. I am so, so thrilled with it. It was totally worth the wait. And yeah, I'm just absolutely thrilled with it. As always though, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. What was your favorite item? Did you get this box as well? Did you go for the premium or did you go for the standard box? Let me know, you guys. Don't forget, if you are new to my channel as well, click my face to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and also leave me a magical thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so I know that you're enjoying all my content. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, you guys.